Dahl was the matriarch of one of the largest extended families within Mount Vernon's enslaved community. Dahl was 38 years old when she arrived at Mount Vernon in 1759. With her were her children, George, Dorcas, Dahl, Lucy, Peter, and Alice. They were taken 120 miles away from the previous home in New Kent County to Mount Vernon because their owner, Martha Dandridge Custis, had recently married George Washington. Dahl and her children had to adjust to a new life and a new community on Washington's plantation. As the estate's cook for many years, Dahl worked tirelessly in the kitchen for 16 hours a day, preparing the hoe cakes, smoked hams, and all of the meals for the Washington family. When guests visited the Washingtons, which was often, Dahl had to prepare large and elaborate meals. Her day began at 4 a.m and ended at 8 p.m. Over the course of the day, Martha stopped by the kitchen at least four times to check in on her progress and to plan menus. Though under her mistress's supervision, the kitchen was Doll's domain. She passed on her expertise to her daughter, Lucy, who succeeded her mother as one of the estate's cooks. By the 1780s, Doll, who was now in her 60s, no longer had a formal work assignment. In Washington's 1786 list of enslaved workers, he describes Dahl as almost past service, and Hercules is now listed as the estate's cook. She likely assisted with knitting and mending, tasks that Washington often assigned to elderly slaves. She continued to use the kitchen to distill rose water and mint water for medicinal purposes and to dry fruits such as cherries and gooseberries. She also sold chickens and ducks to George Washington, as did many enslaved people on the estate. Dahl was the matriarch of one of the largest extended families within Mount Vernon's enslaved community. By 1799, 40 years after she first came to Mount Vernon, she had five children, 14 grandchildren, and at least four great-grandchildren living on the estate some of whom held distinct positions on the estate. Her daughter Lucy married Frank Lee, the enslaved butler, and her grandson Christopher Shields became Washington's personal valet. Because she was owned by the Custis estate, Dahl remained enslaved even after Martha Washington's death. She may have been inherited by Eliza Park Custis Law or by George Washington Park Custis. Dahl was a common name, and both grandchildren probably inherited a woman named Dahl or Dolly. Both of these women were valued at just $5, a low figure indicating that the women were elderly but still capable of work. At this time, by 1802, Dahl would have been 81 years old. To learn more about Dahl and the lives of other women at Mount Vernon, you can visit mountvernon.org slash women. Click the subscribe button below and the bell icon to get notifications for new videos about George Washington and behind the scenes work at Mount Vernon.